Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we, as you can see, we're going to bourbon battle this sucker up. We bourbon battle it too. Uh, and if you can see, there it's a, it is a bonded uh, bourbon battle. Yeah, so uh, after some technical difficulties with the first one, uh, we decided we'd do it again. We did take out the bottom two that we had. Uh, we originally had the Wilderness Trail and the Old Forester Bottle and Bond, and they yeah. were on the bottom. And we switched them out for the old granddad, which I wanted to do the first time. Yeah. And the benchmark. The benchmark. And basically the only reason why I did this is because I saw Dan and Sean over on Bourbon Junkies. They were ranting and raving about it. I was like, yeah, we'll give no, it a we'll, try. We'll blind it and see we'll how it goes. See how it goes. See how it goes. All right. So you all know how, uh, if you've been uh, part of our channel before, you know we go from uh, right to left, take a break, go left to right. Uh, and all that good stuff, and so we'll just uh, jump right in and and see where we get to. Pretty much. And yeah. while you're here, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think is the best one. And if we left one out, let us know. By the way, I already know what everybody's going to say. Henry McKenna. Henry McKenna. We're not fans of Henry McKenna, so we. Didn't. I know some of you are. We we, just... we since that's not our jam, we just didn't want to throw that in there. And then it be like, hey, we already know it's gonna like be last. So, if I'm just being honest, like I'm not trying to be a jerk about it, but I'm yeah. just being honest. All right, number one. Mm. Hmm. Really welcoming. It's funny because, like, I don't, I don't get much off of it. Hmm. It's like a little bit of a summer fruit note. Smidge of like nuttiness. There is a nuttiness on the taste. Really like that. Kind of stays with you pretty pretty well as also. All right. A little drying. So yes. I'm surprised about. Yep. I don't know if it's just because we've been we've been recording other videos today, so I don't know if that's something about True. palate fatigue. Honestly, it tastes just like a Knob Creek down here. <clears throat> I could get with that. Very fruity. Yeah, this one is very fruit forward. Red fruit. Smidge of cocoa powder. More fruit on the palate. It's a little sharp. Yeah, like dark which fruit. I like. Yeah. Wait, you said dark fruit? It tastes a little dark fruity to me. But that's just me. I right. really enjoy the first two. <clears throat> really, really enjoy the first two. Very different on the palate, too. <clears throat> yes. I don't even want to say what this is. But it's like plain as day. Yeah. Mary. Hmm. I don't think this is right, but maybe I do have a little palate fatigue or nose fatigue. And it smells a little banana-y in there. Uh, it, it, it's so banana. It's like, okay. it's like a banana, like nerd, banana, right. taffy. I'm glad you it's said It's like it. straight up. Because sometimes I'm like, do I, do I just smell banana because I like Old Forester? Or... Yeah, it's banana all day long. A little bit of like a sour banana. Yeah. A little funky. I just don't feel like there's much to that. That's really weird because I don't know what would be really sour. 
<clears throat> out of all these. I'm looking at them right now trying to think yeah. what it would be. Mm. I, I don't know. All right. I mean, that's all right. Okay. I feel like I feel like I get cheated on this one because I I can't see I can't see the color. It's that old dark KBB Glen there. Yeah, I do like this Glen though. Oh, it's fire. Yeah, it's fire for sure. Hmm. Yeah, it's very velvety, like almost like a little bit of like a velvet cake. Icing, a little bit of fruit. It's very smooth. Oh, I was gonna say there's nothing on the palate on that one. Yeah, it's like, it feels like, like there is absolutely nothing. Like you're drinking water. There's some oak on there. A little bit of like oak spice, maybe a smidge of oak spice. There's a little bit of sweetness on it now that I'm, I drink it a second time, but not much. Not much of a finish to it or anything. All right. Yeah. All right, last one. Ooh, got a little crazy with that. So this one's similar to this smells like candy. The third one, where there's a little bit of banana, but it's not as no, not as much banana. What were those candies? The runts? Yeah, like a banana, like runt, banana yeah. laffy taffy. Yeah, just like a like mixture. That. Like when you smell into like the bag of runts, mm -hmm. that's what it smells like to me. Yeah. Wait, on this one? Yeah. Oh no, you see. Now this one, this one to me almost smells like a like a banana split with like it's just strictly banana and, and vanilla ice cream. But I can also get on board with this kind of smells. <clears throat> I, I feel like so, I said something last time. Smelled like a candy necklace. Mm. It kind of smells like that too. All right. It smells so much more like an ice cream. I am getting aggressive with this little swirl here. <laughs> My first one almost popped it out the top. It it really is like a like a like an ice cream sundae with a, or, or not an ice cream sundae a banana split. That's what it is. A little bit of whipped cream. Hmm. Really nice oak on that one. A smidge of caramel, like a smidge. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right. Honestly, all five of these were good. Yes. Like, if I'm being honest, like, this lineup here is so much better than the last one. Yeah. We made bad choices the first time. Yeah. The, the video gods uh, smiled upon us. They blessed it. They blessed it and said, please don't put that other one out. All right. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll reset. We'll be right back. Yep. And we're back. Ready to go left to right. It's amazing to me, and I, I think I say this a lot. I'm just going to repeat it. Whenever you reset your palate and you go back from the last one you had and you start from that side and you go back, just how much everything changes. It doesn't always, but it feels like most of the time there's there are some definite differences like that the, stand out. The banana is still here on this one. But now there's more caramel in, in a smidge of chocolate and just... I smell more caramel now. Just like sure. some rich, darker co uh, colors. Yeah. Darker flavors that wasn't there on the nose before. There's a little bit of nuttiness on that to me, too. There's a sweetness, but then there's a little bit of nuttiness in there that, uh, yeah, that now I enjoy. That you say that. That I enjoy. Yeah, now, now I'm tasting it. All right. The old. I literally almost poured that down my nose. 
And there's nothing on the nose for yeah. this one. That's what I was, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing too. Like, I'm, I'm really down here searching for something. Smidge of fruit. Smidge of fruit. There's like a little bit of a, to me, a, again, it is a fruit, a little cherry taste to it, but just a little. All right. I mean, that's, there's a little bit of like a tang taste to it, like that orange drink tang. tang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Wilson, we're going to go ahead and pull this one all the way to the back. It is amazing, though, because I, I liked all of them the first time around, and that one I just had, I didn't care for it. Mm-mm. Mm. There's just not much to it. There's that. The banana is still there on that one. Over to the third one. Yeah, but you know what, though? The banana's not as prominent now. Now there's more fruit with that banana. There's like an orange, pear, a little bit of a peach. Mm. Man, it tastes just like a peach drink. All right. I don't know where in the hell I'm getting these notes from, but like, I don't ever remember getting a peach note from anything before. Nope. It's interesting. This one's still really good. I mean, there's just, it's so smooth and so easy to drink. There's fruit on there. Mm -hmm. But man, it's like a, it's like some, it's like some kind of dessert fruit with like whipped cream on there. Like really rich homemade whipped cream. The finish isn't long or anything, but that's just a, it's a solid drink. <clears throat> Man, I'm getting chocolate on this one now. No, it's vanilla. It's a vanilla, it's a super rich vanilla cream. Mm. More of that fruit. I still like that sharpness on there. That one has a little bit more of a bite. And I like that. I know that's not going to be everybody's jam, but I I know I like that a lot. That one's staying on my lips a little longer than, than the rest of them. Yeah. There's a nuttiness to this one, too. Yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a nuttiness to this one. And not in a bad way. No. no I'm not saying in a bad way at all. But the nuttiness. Stands out. It's just, again, that one's smooth, too. Uh, it just tastes just like a Knob Creek onion. Probably, probably so much <laughs> of that. That should probably lean, tell us what, what it is. I mean, probably. Yeah. Probably should tell us what it is. All right. I uh, feel like I like the nose better on that one, though, than a Knob Creek onion. Oh, that's man. the one that's still I don't I don't get a lot on the nose. All right, so this one's gonna be hard. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move these a little bit out of the way. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one. <sighs> this is so hard. Mm. Kind of, kind of getting there. I really like this one too. Gosh. All right, 
I think I have my order. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, that one's still last. <laughs> I think I'm good too. Did we do the exact same order? Two is one, five is two, two one is three, and then three <laughs> we is did, four. We did, <laughs> we did, okay, we did this last time where we actually picked the exact same ones last time. And if you go back and review this camera, you know that I didn't look over at him because that's like, I try to be in the lane when we're deciding where it is. That's, that's hilarious. All right, so. Do we want to start from last to first? Yeah, let's do last to okay. first. Uh, so last one was number four, so that was the benchmark. Okay. Uh, honest, the bottle. Honestly, like, I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about benchmark, but benchmark of all of these is the... It was weird following... What, what I would call a well drink, as opposed to <laughs> the rest of them. So... Whenever I went through the first time, I liked all of them. I don't want to say equally, but I liked, I kind of, I, I, honestly, I think I liked these two more the first time around than these three, but I liked all oh. of them equally. But then the second time through was just night and day different. Yeah. Like some just stood out yeah. a lot more all right. than others. So benchmark was five for us. Yep. All right. And then let's see, what was the next one? Three. I'm. Or no, four. This well, the, yeah, our fourth, but our our fourth one was three. Which yeah. one do you think that was? I think it's 1792, but that's just me. Correct. All right. Not that, do that doesn't surprise me because I am not a 1792 fan. Not shocked on that because to me, I agree. You, you actually made a great point where it was very... Um, candy banana yeah and i don't care for that i like a more traditional banana yeah. note so that that i agree with <laughs> a more old forester banana note and that's uh, you know, true that is true all right so number one was our third number which, one which one do you think that third. is should be a dead giveaway number one was uh was peanutty right i'm not gonna tell you i can't um, Speed it up for the video. Okay, I'm going to say Old Granddad. Yes, it was Old Granddad. Right. Which is actually the one we I originally wanted to put in. And then somebody was like, no, nah, Wilderness Trail, bottle and bun. Well, I was trying to give props to Wilderness <laughs> Trail because I like Wilderness Trail. We do love Wilderness Trail. We do love Wilderness Trail. But Old Granddad, bottle and bun. All right. Did very, very yeah, well. Yeah. All right, what do you think number two is? I'm going to say E.H. Taylor. Jack Daniels bonded. All right. And then, I, I, I can see that. And then E.H. E. Taylor then was e. number Taylor, one. Number one. Um, that, it honestly does. These to me were neck and neck. These two were very close. And then behind this one. And then honestly, this one was in a step. And then this one was a little bit further behind. Yeah. Um, but man, I... That bonded is so the Jack Daniels bonded is really really great. Yeah, um, I still love E.H. Taylor Small Batch. Like it was it was a regular everyday drinker for me for a long time <laughs> until it became hey, an allocated <laughs> bourbon that you can't find. Anywhere yeah, pretty now. much. So, so maybe I'm biased towards it, but yeah. I just I love it. I, I really do like it too. Yeah. I still prefer single barrel over that, but that's just sure. me. Um, but again, that's that's a really good one. So uh, tell us what would have come in it's hard to say what would have come in because we blinded these so i'll be honest with you i think i know he, everybody has in their mind like in comments they'll say well that eh taylor is going to win every time or the small or the 1792 is going to win every time but when you blind them it's just a different animal um yeah i i think this would shock a lot of people but i think this punches up very very well i think both like Oh, Granddad 114 and The Bonded both, I think, punch up. Yeah, I, I would agree. I agree with that. I would agree. So, all right. Well, till next time, we'll see you. As I don't spill anything. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> see, see ya. ya.